Today we're going to run through turning this purely architectural model, so no structural information in here at all, into a structural analysis model. It'll only take a couple of minutes and we're not going to use any programs or scripts. We're going to use a website, so like this one where you just upload your architectural model directly to the web, download your structural analysis model. It's going to look a bit like this if it's in eTabs, for example. Or you can also do, do it in Grasshopper and Rhino if you want to do your structural analysis through there. I'm going to run through that as well. Okay, so we're starting off with a Revit architectural project. So this is just all purely Revit information. And I'm going to convert that into CAD in a minute. So you can see that we can use either Revit or CAD or other architectural programs. ArchiCAD might be another one. So I'm just taking out the landscaping because we don't need that. And you can see it's just all architectural. There's no structural information in this. So now I'm just going to export that, file export, into a DWG. So just standard CAD format. Just save that file. OK, so I'm just going to go into Rhino now and file insert that AutoCAD file. I'm just going to maximize it and put on a shaded preview. You don't have to do any options when you import. Now I want to delete some layers. Because Revit exports as blocks, I'm just going to have to break the blocks up a little bit. So to do that I do two commands. One's explode block and the other one's block manager. So I'm just going to run those two commands in Rhino and that allows me to delete the layers. So the layers I want to get rid of are things like furniture, landscaping layer, the stairs, all the fiddly little items that you don't need. You might not have to do this depending on what type of CAD you've got. And by the way, Rhino can export all sorts of different CADs, so ArchiCAD, SketchUp, all sorts of stuff. So now that I've cleaned those blocks out, I'm just going to delete those layers I don't want. And I'll just be left with the pure architectural information that I need, which is the floors, walls and columns. So now we're just going to go to our website, go to Struck Apps and Frame Crafter. And then from there, you simply choose the file and then open and you've just got to wait for a minute and now you can download the Rhino, Spacecast and eTabs so I'm going to download the Rhino and the eTabs and let's see how they look okay in eTabs I'm going to go file import eTabs e2k file find that file that we saved from our web page and open it up and there, there you've got your eTabs file it's got all the information that we got from our web page and that's come from the conversion from AutoCAD I'm just running a file checker to see if there's any errors, there's no errors and now I'm going to analyze the file you have to save it to your hard drive to let it analyze okay it's working away and once that's analyzed you'll see that it's meshed out all the floors you can see the mesh there and it's got a bit of a deflection on all the floors as well so that proves that it's running okay in eTabs deflections not much because there's no loads so so the last thing I'm going to show is 
using the Rhino file to do structural analysis in Grasshopper. So this is the Rhino file that's been downloaded directly from our website. It's all flat plates, columns and beams and walls and they're all flat planes which is what you need for structural analysis. Everything should be connected because that's the aim of the website application. Now if I I'm going to bring this into structural analysis with Kiwi here. You might want to use other things. I like Kiwi because it's pretty flexible um, and easy to use. And this simply puts in some loads, beams, and elements. I won't go into detail in this. Have a look at our other scripts if you want to see more detail on that or just do it yourself. It's pretty easy to pick up once you start. If I, I'm just going to apply these, um, I'm going to collect these elements, the meshes and the curves. And the last thing is the Rhino file will have some curves down the bottom of the walls to act as line supports for the walls. So that's that done. And I'm going to enable the compiler for Kiwi so that you can see the compiled uh, output. I'll do a preview of that. There you can see um, everything that's been compiled into a model. So this just gives an indication that it's a fully connected model. Uh, you can see where the load's going and where everything's connected. I'll just turn that off because we don't really need that information. Um, but we can have a look at some of the moments once it's run. So here, for example, that cantilevered balcony is causing some moments there. There's something up here, probably the framing can be done better. It's carrying the slab across there. Likewise, there's probably something that can be done better here. Um, so yeah, this is a starting point. The, the model's running, everything's working. From now on, it's up to the structure engineer to do some more work on it. Let's have a look at the deflected shape. Oh yeah, you can see here that that slab there is deflecting quite a lot. So there's obviously some framing that can be done a lot better up the top there. In fact, all of those floors, those three floors there, the rest of it's holding up a lot better than that particular area. So yeah, like I said, um, You've got the model running and now you can start playing around with it um, and seeing what the best way to um, to support everything and you can also apply some lateral loads, wind loads and all that sort of stuff and start looking at how much stress is in the walls etc etc so obviously not going to go into that now but that was the demo of the Rhino download from the struck structural app Framecrafter. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful, and we'll see you in the next one.